Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to the channel, to my wonderland. If you're new here, we like to do things here with coffee time. So grab your mug and let's start checking some Netflix releases for the month of September. It's coffee time. So as always, I have selected a couple of the things that are going to be available in Netflix in the month of September. I tend to pick just the Netflix exclusives because those are the ones that are normally released worldwide um, because every country has their own list of movies and series. So here are some Netflix exclusives coming on the month of September. On the 6th of September, we have Elite and this is getting a season 2. I'm calling it Elite because this is the way that we would call it in Spanish and this is a Spanish uh, series exclusive for Netflix and this is one that I put on my list the moment it came out because I watched the trailer and I liked what I saw but I never had time to catch up to it so I hope to do it uh, soon because it looks like a teen drama but with some kind of mystery thriller in it and it is about these three teenagers that come from working classes and they enroll in this high school for more like posh people, more rich people and I guess they're gonna have fights and things between them so I hope it's a little bit darker than that because the trailer does look a little bit dark so if you've already watched season one let me know down below if it's like a darkish story but apparently it's been doing so well that even though we're getting season two um, this year they've already promised season three for 2020 on the 13th of September we have a mini series that it's only going to be eight episodes which makes this mini series really bingeable and is going to portray a topic that is very important and something that is very current nowadays and that is a teenage girl that lies about being raped and how the whole investigation goes so it sounds really interesting and uh, sounds like a hard-hitting contemporary and definitely gonna have to check this one out on the 19th of September we're getting Vagabond season 1 and this is a South Korean Netflix exclusive that it's supposed to be the biggest or more successful they say uh, South Korean series. In this story we have a very mysterious plane crash that ends up killing 200 people and there is somebody that loses uh, the nephew there and so they open an investigation to try to figure out what happened and they kind of start to uh, figure it out that there is something corrupted with this accident so it sounds like an action-packed thriller and sounds interesting you're getting one season only first of all but I if they're saying that it's going to be like so successful it's very probable that we're gonna get more on the 20th of September we're getting something very interesting and exclusive and it's called criminal and it's going to be 12 episodes it's gonna be three based in Spain three in the UK three in Germany and three in France and it's going to be everything nearly based on an interrogation room at the police station so it sounds something totally down my alley and in the UK version we have David Tennant whom I love so the cool thing about this is that all 12 episodes are dropping at once but we're getting three in Spanish three in French three in English and three in German and they're all going to be taking place like I said in an interrogation room I don't think we're gonna go out of there at all and basically it's about somebody that's confessing a murder that's all I know but it sounds super intriguing and I appreciate that they're trying to bring something a bit different I also don't know if the same story is gonna be the same one in all the countries or not but it's definitely something that has me really intrigued and that I definitely definitely want to see on the 20th of September we're getting Disenchantment part 2 with 10 new episodes now this is a series that it's kind of like a comedy cartoon series that was created by the same people that created The Simpsons and Futurama and both shows that I love so I decided to give it a go but I was not really into the first season. I think I only watched the first episode and I decided it was not really for me. It is kind of like a this medieval comedy and I don't know, maybe I'll give it another try. Maybe it was just not my day. But 
apparently it's really popular because they apart from part two that it's coming to you this september they've already confirmed another part in 2020 and another one in 2021 also on the 20th of september we have between two ferns the movie and this is a show that uh, Zach, oh, let me read his surname because it's really complicated. Zach Galifianakis, I hope that was correct. He had like a web show where he would like interview uh, famous people and apparently it was very popular. I've never watched it, but they decided to turn this into a movie and they're making it a Netflix exclusive. So basically this movie is going to be portraying the character of Zach himself that is, uh, you know, going from interview to, from, to interview trying to kind of uh, you know restore his reputation so if you're a fan of his YouTube channel where he uploads these interviews now you know that there is a movie coming on the 27th of September we have Bard of Blood and we're getting season one and this is one of the series in India that uh, um, Netflix is invested the most of and it's going to uh, follow up an ex uh, role agent and it's going to be a really cool thriller for what I have read. Something that makes this series really interesting is that it's being uh, shot in three different languages and that is Hindi, Urdu and English. Also on the 27th of September, the last thing that I have to talk to you about is The Politician Season 1. Now this is a series that is going to revolve all about politics and campaigns and things like that, which is something I'm normally not interested in, but this is going to be made by Ryan Murphy, which is one of the two main guys that created American Horror Story all of the seasons. and. If you're not new to my channel you know that I adore American Horror Story and so I might give this one a chance because if he has touched this it might be something that I actually enjoy even though it involves politics which is definitely the topic that I always avoid when I grab a books movies or series because it's definitely something that I'm not interested in um, but because Ryan Murphy you know had his hands on this I might actually give it a try and these were some of the new Netflix releases coming at you in September 2019. Let me know down below you guys what you thought about the things that I have mentioned. Are you excited about any of them? Or maybe you know of something that I didn't mention that it's coming also to Netflix in September. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and also remember to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any more coffee times with me. If you want to follow me in other social media, I have uh, also Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description box down below. And I'll see you all in the next coffee time. Bye!